Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons. What is going on in the small village of Atwood? That is a question we and a lot of people there had tonight. There was a sudden resignation from three Atwood Village board members today, including the village president. Several Atwood leaders believe accusations of eavesdropping, obstruction of justice, even assault, led up to all of this. WCI3's Emily Braun is live in Atwood tonight. Emily, a lot to unpack here. Right now, what are some people there concerned about the most? Well, to start, Jessica, three of the seven board members resigned tonight, and a fourth didn't show. So the three out of seven left means there wasn't quorum. And no quorum means no one can pay their bills, and no village employees can get paid until there is quorum. And payday is this Thursday. That also means in a packed boardroom, there wasn't even an official meeting tonight. The resignation of the mayor, Brody Farrar, and the two trustees, one of which is Farrar's wife, was announced at 7 o'clock when the meeting was supposed to start. This comes in the middle of allegations that the mayor installed video cameras in the Atwood Police Department that recorded audio against the police department's knowledge. The mayor was also accused of listening in to conversations in the police department on numerous occasions from the middle of July to the middle of August. We spoke to one village trustee who says he helped the mayor in his election campaign, but now finds himself caught in the crosshairs from backlash. When this trustee, Marion Irwin, found out the mayor was logging on to the video feeds at the police department, he confronted him about it with the evidence in hand. He said that's when Farrar verbally assaulted his wife, and now Irwin is considering pressing charges. He came back over and started asking questions. My wife proceeded to ask him why he deleted out of 2,000 videos, why did you only delete three? And he lunged at my wife and yelled, you're pissing me off, you're really pissing me off. And I had to step in between the two of them. Irwin showed us a text message from Farrar's wife from yesterday morning. It asked Irwin if he would drop the assault charges if she and her husband resign. Irwin never responded to that text. Then the resignation letters came in today. I called Farrar for comment and I have not heard back. I knocked on his door and no one answered. In his resignation letter, Farrar said he no longer felt he could serve the community in a positive way as mayor, but we have the full copy of his resignation statement on our website, WCIA.com. I also reached out to the Atwood Police Chief for comments, and he says he cannot comment further on the camera investigation because it is an ongoing investigation, and it's been handed over to Pyatt and Douglas counties. But he did want to tell Atwood residents to try to stay positive amidst all of this uncertainty because it should be business as usual, and leaders are working on a solution just as soon as possible. Live in Atwood, Emily Braun, WCI3, your local news leader. Yeah, payday is Thursday, so they just have a couple of days here to get that figured out. Emily, let us know if you get any updates. Thank you.